You are watching Trends. Every Thursday, we take a peek at the future to see what's ahead of us. How 3D printing changed the world. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Hello Alexers, welcome to another exciting video. We're sure most of you must have heard about 3D printing by now, and some of the gadget freaks amongst you probably have seen a 3D printing machine in real life or on a digital platform. But today's video is not just going to explain to you what 3D printing is, but to understand how possibly it's going to change the various industrial sectors, global economies, and also our lives. We bet you're thrilled to hear that, so let's get started. What if? What if you could print your pizza in your own favorite shape and then have it for a meal? What if you could print spare parts for your grandfather's antique car and have it fixed for him? What if you could make your own custom-made objects at home for your loved ones without paying extra charges for the customization? What if you could build your dream home in a shape as complex as you want, without compromising your aesthetic sense? And what if you could save the life of your loved ones by replacing a damaged organ with a 3D printed one? Well, a few of these things mentioned are already possible today, but before exploring the future possibilities, let's get to the basics. What is 3D printing? For those of you who have never before heard of 3D printing or don't have a clear understanding of what it is, we got you covered. 3D printing is an additive manufacturing technique in which a three-dimensional object is created by adding material layer by layer with the help of a computer program. Since the object created completely depends upon the computer program and the material used, we can almost create or print anything and everything using a 3D printer. So let's take a look at a few of the applications where this technology is currently being used. Where are we now? Today, 3D printing has found applications across various sectors and has helped these sectors by making it possible to create objects that are costly or difficult to produce using traditional manufacturing techniques. In the automotive field, German automotive manufacturing giants like Audi have been using 3D printing for quite a few years now, and as recently as 2017, they started their own 3D printing center in Ingolstadt. Audi uses 3D printing for manufacturing spare components with complex geometries, which are otherwise costly to make, considering the low volumes that are produced. However, the use of 3D printers is not just limited to the making of the spare complex parts. Now there are several startups like Divergent 3D that are prototype testing 3D printed cars. These startups have at present successfully created car frame bodies and chassis using 3D printers and are aiming to develop entire cars that can be 3D printed. Considering the nature of this technology, 3D printing helps to eliminate the waste and pollution that's created by factories and will not only change the automotive sector, but the entire manufacturing sector in the coming years as it advances over time. In the field of medical technology, a lot of research has been taking place to explore the opportunity of creating 3D printed organs that could be used as a substitute for organ transplants. Once fully functional, this technique could help doctors to create organs and tissues compatible with a specific patient's anatomy. And Aluxers, if you'd like to know some more about the advancements in the field of medical technology, you can check out our trends video, Survival of the Richest, How Long Until Billionaires Can Live Forever. In the field of construction, Dubai and China, who are considered to be construction giants, have been working on developing 3D printed houses and skyscrapers. In fact, a company in China has claimed to have built 10 houses in 24 hours using 3D printed technology, whereas Dubai is claiming to build 3D printed skyscrapers by 2030. Such applications in the field of construction will not only help in cutting down the manpower costs and inefficiencies involved, but also make it possible to build complex structures in shorter time and in a cleaner way. 3D printing is also disrupting the food industry, and 3D printers that can be used to print food have already been prototype tested in England. 
these 3D printers can be used to create food like pasta and hamburgers in your favorite shape, and all you need to do is cook them in a microwave once ready and eat. Sounds kind of fascinating, right? Some of these food printers are also available for sale, and you guys would be delighted to know that one of our favorite fast food giants, McDonald's, has announced it would be selling completely 3D printed hamburgers called McMac by 2020. The Biggest Players Although 3D printing is considered to be a niche market, it's growing rapidly and the whole sector is expected to become worth over $22 billion by 2022. One of the leaders in this space is HP. HP did not begin as a 3D printing company, but it has a dedicated arm that is testing next-generation materials which can be used for 3D printing. In 2017, HP unveiled the world's first state-of-the-art laboratory to help companies develop, test, and deliver the next generation of materials and applications for 3D printing. HP also has a 3D printing center in Guangdong, China, a country which is considered to be the global manufacturing hub. And speaking of which, for those of you who have plans to visit China or exploring other parts of the world, we suggest you have your own secure internet connection. That's why we recommend using a VPN. It's a super easy to use piece of software that protects your data online so the government or other companies can't spy on you and you can enjoy the internet you know and love. We partnered with the great folks at NordVPN to bring you an amazing offer. If you go to alux.com slash VPN and sign up using the code ALUX, you'll get 75% off a three-year plan and a full month for free to see if you find it valuable. Protect yourself today on the internet by going to alux.com slash VPN. Apart from HP, 3D Systems is one of the pioneers in the 3D printing space. The company provides 3D products and services, including 3D printers, print materials, parts, services, and digital design tools. As of 2018, 3D Systems had a market cap of $2.17 billion US. And although a few players dominate the manufacturing of 3D printing machines and the materials used, there are many entrepreneurs that are relying on 3D printing for manufacturing and testing their prototypes, and eventually becoming the manufacturers themselves. These entrepreneurs are finding new ways to use this technology, so let us understand the potential this technology holds moving forward. Potential from a manufacturing point of view, 3D printing being an additive manufacturing technique is relatively cleaner, safer, and easier as compared to the traditional manufacturing techniques, like forming, molding, or milling, which require a skilled workforce and heavy machinery. At present, this technology is in a primary stage and considering the cost involved, it's not affordable or accessible to all. But if 3D printers become advanced to the level of making anything and everything, we will soon be living in a world of point-of-sale manufacturing, and this can change the whole supply chain and logistics sector. The need for inventories and warehouses will no longer be there, and that would affect almost every industrial sector. Also, we are living in the time of customization rather than standardization, and 3D printing can definitely help us to create products that are more tailored as per specific requirements of an individual and make everyone's life a little better. Challenges and Threats the biggest challenge today is to bring down the cost of 3D printers and the entire process, including the materials that can be used. Right now, there are very few materials that can be used in 3D printing machines. Initially, 3D printing was limited to only the use of plastics and polymers, and even today, the types of materials that can be used in making 3D printed objects are limited to only a few materials that can be extruded through the printing machine injectors. Also, since the objects that can be created using a 3D printer completely depend on the computer program blueprint used, the feature itself is proving to be a threat for this advanced technology. Recently, a downloadable blueprint for making a 3D printed gun was sold by a website called Defense Distributor on the internet. 
This blueprint can actually be used by an individual to print a non-traceable plastic gun using a 3D printer. All someone would need to use this plastic printed gun like a normal loaded gun is a firing pin and a standard metal nail and a 6 ounce piece of steel, whose function is to make the gun spottable by a metal detector. The gun is called the Liberator and we can very well imagine what would happen if it falls into the wrong hands. Use of 3D printing in the making of ammunition and guns can definitely be a major threat for the entire world since objects made by 3D printers do not need any legal licenses and are not under the control of any government's authority in the world. Conclusion Disruptive technological advancements like 3D printing are always considered a double-edged sword that can be both constructive and destructive at the same time. Since objects that can be produced using a 3D printer have no constraints and there are no legal laws about the use of 3D printers, the end user is going to be the ultimate decision maker. That's why as this technology advances, we will definitely see new applications and disruptions in the various sectors that will be a result of this technology and will change the world we live in. But whenever that happens, the end use will purely depend on our own judgment. We're sure you Aluxers will make the right choice whenever the judgment time arrives. Question We're curious to know if any of you guys have ever seen or used a 3D printer. Also, we'd like to know what would you print or create if you had your own 3D printer? Let us know in the comments. And as a thank you for sticking with us until the end, here's your extra piece of content. Bonus you can 3D print the 3D printer itself using a 3D printer. Okay, please bear with the repetitions, but it is possible. A 3D printer can act as a self-replicating machine, and you can create a series of these machines once you have one. We bet you've got to be excited to own your own 3D printer someday, aren't you? Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos for you to watch next. As always, the conversation continues on social media. Thanks again, and we can't wait to have you back tomorrow.